Hello, welcome back to my channel. I thought we would pull some cards and um, we're gonna go fire signs first. So if you are Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, or if you are a cross watcher and you are interested in an Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo, basically we're gonna pull some cards and um, the first cards I'm gonna pull are just like the current energy between you and the person you're inquiring about. And then we're going to see what they are thinking about you. And then maybe we'll pull some outcome cards. Um, so, right now I have the sexual tarot deck. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love this deck. This is more of an intuitive deck. Um, so it's not as straightforward as the Rider Waite. It has its own meanings behind some of the symbology and numerology that's in it. Um, but it's just absolutely gorgeous. So right now, let's see what is the current energy between you and this person. Energy. This person. It's difficult shuffling with this small table. <laughs> okay, current energy. We have the, oh my gosh, the devil. Look at that. Look at that phallus in his hand. Oh my gosh. So we have the devil and then we have the four. Oh no. <laughs> Butterfingers. We have the devil and then we have the four of swords. So this was air. Okay. Fire signs. This is something passionate. It's going on. I mean, I see like a lot of lust, but also the four of swords is just one of just like waiting and rest so i'm gonna pull a clarifier just to see if you guys are even in contact right now because with this four of swords it's like maybe you're not i feel like you guys have definitely you've already been intimate with each other so this isn't just someone you're interested in like you have a crush like you guys have you guys have done stuff um and right now i'm just gonna clarifier for like how is this connection going are they still in just connecting Are you two still talking with each other or are you guys on like some type of weird break? What's the deal? Clarifier, please. All right, fire signs. All right, four of wands. Because we have a lot of fours going on right now. I mean, I feel like I'm gonna see what's on the bottom of the deck, but I feel like you guys are playing house. Okay, so the bottom you have the queen of wands. Oh my gosh. This is fiery. <laughs> this is fire. Queen of Wands, she is like, she is very, very attractive. So who, whatever, like the attraction between you guys is like undeniable. I'm not sure what's really going on with this Four of Swords, but with this Four of Wands, like I want to say that you guys were either playing house together where you guys were seeing each other so much, like just all the time, or you had like a time where you guys were maybe living together but there is something going on like i don't know like something has you guys at almost like a stalemate with this four of swords i just want like one more card to clarify that four of swords because like it's kind of worrying me a little bit all right you have ace of wands ace of wands is um usually it like shows like the birth of a son it's uh the wand it kind of represents like the phallus kind of like in this devil card we have the twin flames over there in the fireplace. So with the ace of wands, I do feel like this connection, like you guys are going to come back. So even if there's like some weirdness going on, we do have Mercury going retrograde today, but we've already been feeling this energy for like a week and a half. Um, but you guys don't have to worry about it. Just the passion and the intensity like between you guys. You guys will be talking again. Um, I'm not sure with this devil energy if it is for the best, just because the devil energy, it's not necessarily just like really hot kinky sex um, or just being intimate with each other. It's It could also be like those things that you know you should give up, but it's really hard to. So traditionally, it's more like alcohol, drugs. It's like the things that you indulge in a little bit too much um but with this four of wands this four of wands is i think really beautiful because it's like you guys do well together like this current energy 
um, even though it's like a little bit of just unweariness, it's like you guys are really good together. Like if you wanted something long term, I mean, at least you guys went through the motions and it's like you're compatible in that aspect. I don't know if how much like your signs are compatible, but I want to see what are they feeling about you right now. So this Aries, Sagittarius, Leo person, what are they feeling for you at this current moment, their current thoughts and feelings? Woo! All right. <laughs> so I had two cards just jump out at me. Oh my gosh. We have the Empress and we have the Page of Pentacles. The Empress is very, very just feminine energy. Um, you are it. You get them going. <laughs> Page of Pentacles is more of like an offer, but traditionally speaking, it's like they might have some insecurities around you. Um, I'm a little worried because sometimes when someone is maybe too good, maybe they exceed, like you exceed their expectations, they put you on a pedestal so much that they feel like they don't have enough to offer you. Page of Pentacles is like the very beginning of um, something growing. So if we were doing a financial reading, it would be the very beginning stages of, you know, a job where you're like an entry level, but you know, within like the next two to three years, you're going to be making like double what you're making now. Um, so for love, I mean, it could mean I only have a little bit to offer you, but I think that you're just freaking the bomb, <laughs> like you're amazing. And so I'm wondering if what I'm picking up is right, if they have some insecurities around this and maybe that's why we have the Four of Swords energy of them not really making the commitment right now. Um, so let's do their feelings, just a clarifier on the Page of Pentacles your feelings okay we have king of cups wow so they they do they do want to offer you emotional support love i mean we had a lot of that fire that intense you know sexual energy in the beginning but they might be in their feelings just a little bit <laughs> um but i feel like this is something that you guys are going to be able to grow and become stronger together and so maybe it would be a good thing to maybe reach out to them um, especially if you're not talking at all or if you just feel like they're kind of spotty with communication um i definitely would not freak out too much right now because this reading um it, it's nothing that you should be worried about like i definitely don't get vibes of um they're wrapped up in someone else or that they're losing interest like i don't get that at all so if you are feeling a little bit worried about this connection or maybe a little insecure not knowing what's going on just know that they are very 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 interested not only physically but also they have an emotional connection and so if you feel like they might be pulling away or communication is spotty, that if you reassure them and if you are patient with them, um, you guys can be really strong. Just like overall, I mean, for this reading, this is a really good reading, guys. <laughs> um, so yeah, fire signs or if you're watching for a fire sign, those cross watchers, um, just know that this is nothing to be worried about and that, you know, this is going to be probably it's going to heat up over the summer just right now with some of the heavy hitting astrology things might just feel a little shaky all right so i think we're going to move on to earth signs next so if you are an earth sign or if you're cross watching for an earth sign um you know definitely stay tuned but yeah okay earth signs so if you are a taurus virgo capricorn this reading is for you or if you are cross watching and you're interested in a taurus virgo capricorn um, right now we're just going to get the overall energy of what's going on between you and the person that you're wondering about. We're kind of just like spying on them, fly on the wall type energy. I love this type of energy. <laughs> um, so yeah, so this is the sexual tarot deck um, and basically it's just more of an intuitive deck. Some of the symbology in it, like it changes 
like there's a book that goes along with this and that you can kind of look into just to get more hints about what's going on in the card so it's not necessarily a traditional tarot deck like a Rider Waite but yes what is the current energy between the two okay current energy we have the magician oh wow let's focus on that the magician gorgeous artistry and then we have the ten of swords oh my gosh guys you're manifesting something right now you are manifesting something and whatever loss that you're going through right now whatever negative stuff like i feel like this is just very like determined energy like i took an l but i'm gonna get my w <laughs> basically um i'm gonna clarify the 10 of swords what are you walking away from Ten of sword energy we have the four of swords oh gosh all right so with the four of swords just know that sometimes this means that it might take some time so you might not have whatever you're whatever you're manifesting right now i feel like you probably started it with this eclipse and just know that this eclipse was one that gets rid of energy that no longer serves us and so we have a solar eclipse coming up um on the 10th of june but then we have another eclipse a couple months after that i believe in november so just know that it might be between that time so from the time of the solar eclipse to the last eclipse that we're going to have um that you might see like a culmination of whatever you're trying to manifest um I, I feel like obviously it's love like this is a love reading um let's see how are they feeling about you right now with this energy i mean the, the energy is like heavy but like i feel hope like a ten of swords like you're just like done i mean it's finished but with the magician i mean i just feel i feel hopeful that whatever you're bringing in is going to be so much better but it's going to be a like really like unlike anything you probably had before just because we're coming off of this eclipse right now so we have a lot of transformation going on but just to see what are their feelings towards you right now um for my taurus virgo capricorn babes what are they feeling to you right now okay we have three of pentacles and we have the ace of wands so three of pentacles they're still trying to figure you out <laughs> like they're, they're still trying to figure you out you know three of pentacles is one of like apprenticeship and so this is of like connecting with someone who is I guess you would say almost above you to learn more and so i'm not sure if they're either talking with like your your guys' friends of friends like if you have mutual friends about this situation or if they're talking with like a parent or something but something about you can, kind of confuses them with the ace of wands the ace of wands is um a very feisty kind of sexual energy so there definitely still is sexual attraction um what that means for emotions i'm gonna get a clarifier but yeah, for, for Ace of Wands, I mean, at least they are still attracted to you. I don't know how you guys mesh together if you're going through Ten of Swords type energy. But like, just let me get a clarifier on the Ace of Swords. Get in there. For Ace of Swords. Oh, wow, the world. Hmm. So the world card is a positive card, but it is one of like just having something like culminated like just of like fulfillment um or like completion and so even though i don't know if this is like one of those things where like you guys were just together because you guys make each other feel good either sexually or because one was just afraid of being alone um but this is of completion and so i do feel like this connection is done um during the next couple weeks with mercury being in retrograde if you guys because like right now obviously there's a break with this four of sword or with this four of swords like you guys have a lot of swords here but obviously there is a break and if they do start coming back around um 
honestly i don't know because I, I just don't get the vibes of this is even something that you're going to want especially especially once what you're manifesting starts coming to fruition i mean just know right now we're in a cycle of release so if this was just like recent everything falling apart like within the last week and a half then just know that if you can wait out and because this person probably is going to try to come back around sorry like they're probably still talking about it they're still thinking about it it's still very heavy on their mind there still is attraction but i just don't know if it would be in your best interest to continue this um and it's like if you just wait this out you might end up meeting someone better or there might be someone already in your life that is better um let's ask one more question about the future um do you see future love coming in do you see future love coming in all right goodness gracious <laughs> so we have the devil um so this might not be as quickly as you want it but um just know you guys have like a lot of um <laughs> passion going on here so if you just need someone just to kind of up i guess your your ego and your self-confidence i definitely think you can find that um but as of right now this might be a time where you might need to just focus on something else maybe just completely forget this um there's a term in manifesting where you manifest it and then you start manifesting something else and you start putting your focus into something else while what you truly want manifests and it'll actually manifest quicker um so i wouldn't put too much focus on this um and i definitely would be you know if you're okay with this just being like a sexual attraction type thing then go for it but if it's the type of thing that's going to bring you down then um i would just leave them in the dust but you know the devil is one of like worldly pleasure so just know that if any love is to come in um in the near future in the near future um while you're manifesting um, this solid connection just know that it's just going to be more of just fun and just worldly pursuits and so that's just pleasure um, just things that you know boost your ego so it's not necessarily bad let me look at the bottom of the deck oh gosh never mind the bottom of the deck is the moon <laughs> okay so maybe I'm gonna I'm gonna go back on that um, if it is going to be mostly just a sexual relationship i maybe you should not do it right now because the moon is kind of one of just anxiety and uh, and just like not knowing and like facing like you know just having your fears come up and so you guys might be going through because remember we have saturn retrograde and pluto retrograde and so you might have some deep traumas that you're healing through maybe around sex um just this could be anything from like when to have sex with someone and not feel used or this could be you were um, maybe touched inappropriately this could be all types of things around sex um and so just know that like right now if you do if you were to continue on and just have just a friends of benefits type relationship you might just have all of those triggers come up at this time and so this is your choice you can either meet them head on and work through it um work through the anxiety or you could just like I said, start manifesting something else, like set your intentions 100%. I feel like this is already in the works, this magician. Um, you already started this, but um, just kind of get your mind off of this situation because I mean, 10 of swords, it's just kind of, it's, you don't want it. Trust me, you don't want it. All right, so it's gonna be okay, but just know with like the heavy Pluto and the Saturn energy, it's not the most forgiving. And so, things that you're gonna be feeling now are gonna be intense and the things you're gonna be learning are, you're gonna remember them for quite a while. So now we're gonna move on to our water signs, our Pisces, Cancer, Scorpios. So if you wanna continue watching, you can. Oh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So right now we're going to pull cards to see what the current energy is between you and your person. Um, if you are a cross watcher, watching for a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or if you are a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, then this these cards are going to just say like what's currently going on um where are things with you two um you guys know we have like a lot of heavy energy just a lot of energy of change and so um if spirit has anything to say then you might get some answers to some things that you've had on your mind but maybe you can't figure out you know between you and that person <laughs> if it was that simple you'd probably just call them and be like hey what's going on but here you are trying to pick up the intuitive 
subtle meanings behind the words that aren't being said. So let's just get um, just so information on the current whoop, one card fall out. Ooh, King of Wands. <laughs> and uh, okay, one more card for current energy. Okay, the Wheel of Fortune. Oh gosh. First off, let's just take a minute just to look at these. King of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. Guys. All right, so I <laughs> definitely am getting the feeling that you have an admirer um, and he has been pursuing you. With the Wheel of Fortune, I mean, the Wheel of Fortune in some readings, and we're gonna clarify this, but it can be like things going around and around. So maybe this is someone that he's been having his eye on you for a while. And so he keeps on coming around and around and around. <laughs> but also the Wheel of Fortune is very like just a lucky card. So maybe you guys have like kind of tried to talk in the past and it never went anywhere. Um, but now you're finally like going to get your answers. Like what is up with this? But oof, I'm feeling the heat with this. <laughs> Let's just clarify that wheel of fortune. What's going on there? Ooh, the sun. Okay, guys. Yeah. So this is your season, especially if you are Pisces or Pisces cross watcher. Um, you guys have with Jupiter being in Pisces right now, um, everything around love, like you guys have a spotlight on you for like the next month and a half. So this is definitely your summer. Um, the sun is just such a happy card. It's a romantic card. It's love, it's romance. So if you guys are not already kind of you and your person um, getting together, just know that it's about to happen very, very soon. Um, let's see, what are their feelings towards you right now? What are their feelings towards you right now? This moment their feelings towards you right now at this moment feelings towards you feelings towards you Whew. oh my gosh knight of wands okay yeah Whew. all right someone is impulsive i'm not sure if we have some fire um here either in their chart or in your chart um but yeah knight of wands is just like you're storming right in and being like hey are you coming <laughs> like this is a very quick moving card <gasps> then we have the emperor oh my gosh all right so already i'm getting the feeling that this is like a masculine man i'm gonna say for you have a lot of kings here with the king of wands and then you have the knight of wands so he knows what he wants and he's not afraid to come take it i'm not sure what your energy is or how you're feeling about this like i'd like to say that it's like because we also have like the wheel here and so i'm not sure if you're like holding out if this person intimidates you because they are so forward but i mean just from all of the passion that's in this reading like go for it cancer scorpio <laughs> pisces like go for it oh my gosh um you know with this emperor i'm not sure if someone especially if this is a scorpio um if there's some power play here and that's why we have the wheel energy but i mean this is exciting like this is this is your time like this is your summer um hot girl hot guy summer this is fun this is really 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 fun Ooh. <laughs> But whatever's happening, this is a turning point. So whatever fate has in store, this is like a cycle, like whatever turn of events you're going through right now, like it was meant to happen. And with this eclipse energy that, that we just had, it's ushering in a lot of new stuff for a lot of people. And so I do feel like this is a person that's already been in your life and not a new person coming in. Of course, I could be wrong, but whatever it is with this person, it's like, this is like a new start. And so, whatever you are i don't know just know i mean i would just be all in this i'm sorry if i were you i would just just let it happen take down your walls you know they've i feel like they've already proven themselves because they are very you know i don't want to say impulsive but they go after what they want and so if they're if we're still in like the woo you stage of i'm going to show you how much i want you and i'm going to pursue you then just know that they're doing like a damn good job right now so I just feel like this is someone that you can trust and so if you have any reservations about this like just don't and just be fun and just be happy I mean you have the sun here this can bring you just a lot of happiness this is a really beautiful reading Cancer Pisces Scorpio <laughs> so we're gonna move on to the air signs um, so Gemini Libra Aquarius 
if you want to stick around for that, you can. Um, or if you have some of that in your chart or your person's chart, then it might give you a better understanding of what's going on right now. But yeah, this is a bomb reading. I like this reading. Okay, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Right now, we're going to see the energy between you and your person. So if you are a cross watcher, watching for a, you know, your person is a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, or if you are an air sign, then this is the current energy between you two. And let's see what the cards have in store. Obviously, we just had that eclipse, and it was hitting not only the North Node um, in Sagittarius, but also the South Node in Gemini. And so if you are a Gemini, your person is Gemini, or if you have heavy Gemini placements, then um, whatever changes are going on, um, this could definitely reflect that. So current energy between you and your person right now. Let's see? So the current energy is Seven of Pentacles. And we have the, ooh, the Knight of Wands. So with this Seven of Pentacles, I get the feeling that you guys have been probably either thinking about this or you've been manifesting this for a while. This isn't just like something new coming in. Um, but with this Knight of Wands, you're about to get like a love offer. Like with all of the changes and the transformation we've been having, all of your hard work and your, you're just, you know, sticking around, maybe talking to this person, feeling this person out. Um, you're about to get some type of offer. I need to clarify what is that going to look like. So clarify for what is coming in. Ooh, wow, Hierophant. Okay, so things, if you want it to be serious, you're about to have the opportunity. Um, so like I said, this I don't feel like this is a new person, like someone you've never met before, um, but this is something that has been on your mind that you've either been working towards, you've been wanting, or you guys have been, you know, together actively trying to get to know each other and spending time with each other and, you know, doing all that bonding. And, you know, finally, finally, it's gonna, you know, commitment, if that's what you want right now, it's gonna be offered. So let's get how they're feeling about you right now. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. How are they feeling towards you? Thoughts, feelings, emotions. What are they feeling towards you right now? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. <gasps> okay, so we have the sun. You definitely make them feel really, really happy. Okay. When you guys get together, it's probably like a lot of laughing and childlike behavior. Just, I don't know, you just forget yourself. And we have the Ace of Pentacles. Wow. Yeah, they want something really serious with you. Like, I don't know if this is just, I get really just solid vibes. So whatever you guys have been working towards, like it's, there's a solid foundation that's been laid down and I definitely think you're someone that they want to just keep in their life long term. This summer, is, you know, might be the summer that you get cuffed, you know? I know it's Gemini season and it's flirty and it's talkative and it's fun, but I don't know. Some of you might be getting into something serious during the summer. Like, yeah, this is just very stable energy. Um, I feel that you can trust this person and you guys are happy together and the sex is really good. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be great um wow let's see the bottom of the deck oh my gosh bottom of the deck page of cups yep so this person's gonna be coming towards you i feel like you're not gonna have to do anything so whoever is the air sign in this they're gonna be making the offer so if you're the air sign you're gonna be making the offer if they are then they will but yeah page of cups this is just wow you're supposed to be cuffed up <laughs> Oh my gosh. Well, I hope you guys like this reading and um, yeah, stay tuned for more videos like this.